What's the relationship? Why did she pick me as a target? She, she did answer that. Her last name was Huang, but I still had no recollection of her. Someone named Mr. Ken is involved, and also a Mrs. Wang. Is she in here? No, Mrs. Wang was not written down yet. There's nothing in her back back backpack that could cut a rope if only had something sharp. Shattered glass. I, I feel like they missed a trick with these. This, this the system of the notes. It's not used enough, really. Or maybe it's just my playstyle that's not really making use of it. But considering what we have in here and and what we can ask them at times or can do, it feels a little bit redundant, to be honest. Um, let's ask for Miss Wang. That Miss Wang you just mentioned. She was about to talk before immediately shutting her mouth, still remembering her big sister's words. I had to find another way to make her disclose it. Um. Oof, do I try to trick her? No. She's a family, right? If she was a culprit, she wouldn't have asked her to rest nor brought them food. Family, hmm. I mean, that, that could have been a thing. We could have, like, deliberately asked the wrong thing. Like, oh, is she the culprit? Which would have uh, made... Which would... Or which could have made her go, no, Mr. Ken um, incited us to do it. Or, no, Mrs. Wang is not the culprit. She's far too good for this. She's a great landlady or something. I don't know. So maybe I should have chosen that. It would have made more sense. She mumbled my words, but finally nodded affirmatively. If Miss Wang didn't help us, we wouldn't even have a place to live or people hiring us. Outside of Big Sis, Miss Wang is the only one helping us. Deep in her memory, she quietly recalled with a lowered head. I remember she said the bread were leftovers, which means they are either from a bakery or a shopping mall. If it was a shopping mall, then they would probably also have bentos and drinks. In other words, they used to work in a bakery? I mean, yeah, the system must have worked somewhere when she was away. She was just fucking around, doing nothing. Apparently she wasn't sleeping, so... It was the fifth day of my kidnapped life. I started to get really tired of the unchanged room. Before you was gonna say, I started to get used to this. <laughs> Whether it was the afternoon sunlight, the reflection in the window, or the air... Uh, yeah. Or the air, sorry, pardon me, mixed with cigarette and malt smell. I didn't have an enlightening experience, just wanted to get out of this goddamn place. What's that? Noticing the bag in her hand, I asked out of curiosity. Colored paper? Oh, I guess now we get into the origami. She took out piles of color paper. The rainbow color really stood out in a depressingly gray room. After a few slick movements, she had nimbly made a small paper crane out of it. She moved on to the next paper upon completion, and another one was completed less than a minute after. A paper crane? Yes, they buy finished paper cranes from us. They? Oh, domestic OEM. What does this mean? Origami? Origami? Electric machine? <laughs> I heard some factories will outsource sewing and packaging to housewives and paid for quantity upon competition. Upon completion? Quantity upon competition makes no sense. Despite the low pay, many people took on such jobs for the convenience of flexible hours. Oh, it's like working from home, then. I wanted to help and make some money so we could pay up the debt sooner. She was still working while talking. It wasn't long before there was a small pile. It didn't appear to be her first time. That's a sentence. She must have been doing this for a while. That's another sentence. How's the payment? How much each? 800 Taiwan dollars for a thousand. More of urgent. Do they just sell them, or like, is there demand for ready-made paper cranes, really? And our 800 Taiwan dollars, is that a lot, or is this like a similar conversion rate, like yen? Where you need a thousand to really, really get anywhere in the western world. 800 per thousand cranes. It's less than a dollar, oh here we go, less than a dollar each, so I guess a thousand Taiwan um, dollars are like what do you call? Yeah, Taiwan dollars. Why do they call Taiwan dollars? Um, so I assume like let's let's make a raw estimate of a thousand Taiwan dollars is one dollar. Even if it took only a minute to make one, it would still take fifteen hours. Yeah, but if you can do it while watching TV or something, or if if you can split that among five people, 
That's less than 100 per hour, hourly salary. Less than I expected. How much do you owe? That's interesting. I don't think she was gonna, she's gonna tell us. I know that no matter how many I make, it would still not be enough. <laughs> that is depressing. Guessing what I had in mind, she quite the risk of working. But this is the only way I could help big sis. She knew this little money was inconsequential. She knew that what she was doing was illegal. Yet she could only do what she could, even if it was as pointless as filling the ocean with rocks. There are artificially created islands, so it's not as pointless. Do you know the story of the paper crane? I remember the bedtime story while looking at the paper crane in her hand. If you fold a thousand paper crane, you can make a wish. So you do know. Bixis told me that, but it was a lie. If all it takes is a thousand cranes, everyone wouldn't need to work so hard. What an unimaginative way to put it. But I guess they didn't have time for a romantic fantasy. <laughs> How ironic that the dream-fulfilling paper cranes were made by people without them. I observed her side face with unease. She didn't appear to have much emotion, just as quiet as a pond and fall. That is a weird analogy. The siblings had such a drastically different personality. In contrast to her big sister's anger, she just accepted it without a second word. She cared about the big sister's happiness and her current life more than fairness. I almost pity her here, but there's no good ending w awaiting you for doing this. And what can we do? I don't know. I couldn't even sort out my own problems. We alone must bear our crosses. We all have our own problems to deal with. Wow, suddenly we're pragmatic or... No one cares about it and no one will help you. We are born into this world alone and face these problems alone. Those who can't make it will get eliminated. The world is not only unfair but merciless, says the rich kid. <laughs> it was getting dark and there was no news of a big sis. I didn't know if she got the money. I started to worry. Well, I didn't really think they would pay, but I also hoped this fiasco would end on a peaceful note. If they couldn't get the money. All these thoughts intertwined in my mind. The little... The little... The, oh, the little one. It it's it's weird to call her like the little one or something. The little one just ate the various breads quietly, not noticing my thoughts. Or the little sister, maybe I don't know. You like sweets? She moved on to egg tart after finishing the donut. Need of them fitting for a proper meal. She quietly put her hand away like a child that got caught of doing naughty things. I like sweets too. Really? Rich people eat sweets? <laughs> she looked at me with widened eyes, beaming curiosity. The innocence in her expression made one question her age. Yeah, she seems very... Very... Like, mentally, she's, she seems like younger than she is. She looked like a middle schooler, yet her timid personality and over-reliance on her sister seemed to be more like an elementary school kid. Yeah, that, that puts it quite right, I think. Yeah, I like cookies, cakes and ice cream. Chocolate? Chocolate is nice, but I prefer those with 5% of cocoa. Otherwise, it's too sweet for me. Mm-hmm. Not really understanding it, she just nodded. She paused to work and grabbed the magazine from the book pile, flipped through the pages before putting it before me. It was a professional magazine on desserts. There were photos of famous... of a famous bakery and detailed analysis on each of them. Of famous bakeries, then, I guess. Fucking hell. The game is shitting the bad translation-wise in this chapter. I, I have to say, like, there were a few hiccups in the beginning, but this is horrible now, suddenly. And not really horrible, but it's really jarring, like, quality-wise compared to earlier. You could see her notes on some pages, including a white chocolate cake that could, got specially circled. The pure white cake was decorated with berries and covered in cocoa powder. The elaborate garnish made it more like an artwork than pastry. Have you tried this? <laughs> nope, I seldom try at a particular store. I only visited a few I know about. Sometimes people would give us some some as gifts, but I rarely had a taste of those since I didn't visit home frequently. Speaking of which, white chocolate is actually not chocolate. Yep, it's just um just regular sugar basically. Why is that? It is white because there's no cocoa powder. Do you know it is made of cocoa butter and milk solid? Oh. She tilted her head and blinked a few times out of confusion. So what's the difference? <laughs> Different ingredients. I heard white chocolate is not as healthy. Yeah, it's very sugary, but it tastes good. Eh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan, really. Can't argue with that. I like darker chocolate. Like, not the 80% ones or something, but it has to be at least 60, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think like 60 to 70 is a sweet spot. 70 is almost too much again at times. 
The difference between us was never clearer. Comparing to my health cons- Com- No, wait, what is the sentence? Compared to my health concerns, she cared more about the taste? I flipped through the magazine with one hand. There were more pages with notes. I recalled myself doing the same thing on travel guidebook- Guidebooks before a trip. Or on a travel guidebook. Sorry for- It makes me not angry, but disappointed. That's why I try to um, fix the translation as I go along. But uh, that's the thing. It makes me so disappointed, the fact that they are shaping the bed like that. Every stroke of the pen was filled with anticipation. You really want to try them, huh? She lowered her head and I heard her response in a tiny voice. Big Sis said she will bring me there. I was getting a little tired of her constant mentioning of Big Sis. However, she only had a Big Sis to rely on. She couldn't go to school and had to come, become independent way before others. It just wasn't fair to call her ignorant. So in Taiwan, you, you're not... Like... You don't... You don't have to go to school, is that it? You're not forced to? Because in Germany you're forced to attend school until the age of 16. You're, it's mandatory to get at least some kind of school education and graduate from a specific tier, level tier of school. Only then you're allowed to drop out and work. Really? Huh. I saw it. My heart always felt heavy when talking to her. Sometimes I'd rather she was as angry as her sister. At least I wouldn't feel as guilty that way. You don't have to feel guilty. Well, maybe for being like an ass sometimes, but the magazine was the manifestation of a dream. Desserts, cake and chocolate. From my perspective, these dreams would never come true. Even if she got the money, I don't think she would be able to bring you on a foodie tour. You, you just said that out loud, you fucking ass. <laughs> she looked at me with an expression on the verge of tears. Yes, why are you bullying her now? Seeing her dis depressed expression, I swallowed the words I was about to say and regret the fact I might have gone too far. I wanted to let her see the reality, but didn't want to hurt her either. Too late! With that said, there could be a chance for that in the future. Really? Yeah, th that's what you should do. After putting people down, give them false hope. That's what they need. They need false hope in order to be even sadder <laughs> once they realize that this was a lie too. Yep, yep. I repeated myself to give her confidence. The shaky light in the dark lightened up her young face, which was filled with unease and sadness. She knew what her sister was doing. That very realization was what shaped her suffering. But she didn't have a choice. Could she stop her sister and convince her to focus on the proper job instead of kidnapping? There was, there was apparently obviously no way. Even an adult would not be able to give an answer, let alone a kid like her. She was not to be blamed here. The ones responsible were her parents, her guardian, or even a big sis. Well, I mean, she could have just said that she wouldn't help with the whole kidnapping thing. She's her own person, after all. She makes her own decisions, in a way. Like, she didn't force her to help her, but whatever. My thoughts were interrupted by the sound. She was back. Immediately, there were countless thoughts in my mind. I realized I had no time to hesitate. The footsteps were getting closer and my heart beat faster. She's incredibly quick as well. I clenched my ass and then let go of my hands in the pocket. The palms were drenched in sweat. Maybe, just maybe, she did, she did get the ransom. Then it would be all over when she got here. No one would get hurt. They could restart their life, a happy ending like all fairy tales. No matter how unlikely it was, I wanted to believe that slight chance with my last chance of escape as the wager. I seldom gamble on anything and this would be the only time I truly hope to win. What do you mean, give up? Give up what exactly? What was this decision? Oh, hey, everything could be over now, but I'm not entirely sure. Should I just try to make a run for it now after not doing it the past five days? After the one chance where they could have gotten the money, maybe I should just be an idiot now? Or should I just, apparently, what they call it, give up instead of wait? <laughs> Wait for the outcome of her... whatever the fuck she was doing. Anyway, the girl entered the room with an icy expression. I guess that didn't work. She had none of her usual cool anymore. Her messy hair spread across her shoulders and I could see nothing but rage and despair in her eyes. Yep, I guess it didn't work. I knew the answer without asking. Big sis? Step aside. 
The little girl tried nervously to get closer, but only got shoved aside by a big sis who walked towards me with big steps. It's not my fault, you do know that. None of this is. Out of nowhere, a kick landed on my stomach and made me curl up in pain. Before I could react, a myriad of punches landed on me. Big sis! Shut up and step aside! The little girl tried to pull her away, but got scared motionless by her sister's yelling. All of you are the same, all of you! Just fucking kill me, I don't care anymore, Rainy. She yelled at me hysterically, as though trying to vent all her rage upon me. I managed to cover my head with my hands, trying to shield my crucial parts. I w well, yeah, I guess. There was taste of blood in my mouth. My body spasmed uncontrollably, and even coughing up gastric juice didn't allevi alleviate the sense of nausea. Every single time. Every time. Every, every, every fucking time. She has some. Like, if the game wants me to sympathize with someone with anger issues like that, man, you, you would need to drop a bigger, like, pity bomb than we were so poor we had to resort to cr criminality. <laughs> Seriously, what? I just want a normal life. Man, relatable, but you're a fucking bitch! What do you have to force me? I'm not! What do you want from me? Nothing, let me go! Jesus Christ, <laughs> I need to drink something. The yelling and the crying. Typical woman thing. <laughs> Londa! Hmm. Sorry, I didn't just say that, did I? The initial burning pain seemed to gradually disappear. All the noise mixed into one everlasting sound in my ear, as though from somewhere far, far away. I naively thought it could work. It would work out. I gave up my chance like a coward, believing they would pay. Is the game gonna punish me now for not doing anything? I would be up for that. I knew it from the very beginning. I gave up my chance of escape to embrace an unrealistic hope, and here I was. One S one one three two, or divided by two? What does this mean? Is this code? Pixis, why? He said it would be alright. As though hearing her sister for the first time, the girl dropped her fists and faced the crying little girl. Her clenched fists were still trembling. Her standing posture appeared extremely lonely. No, I don't have any... Sorry, no empathy for this woman. Sorry. Don't cry, she says. I mean, the visuals of this game are amazing, I really like it, but... This, this story though, I could hear her choking up and there were tears in her eyes, but she stubbornly refused to let them drop. The general writing is good too, but the characters are just fucking mental. They don't act like normal people at all. They are like caricatures of over-exaggerated, like, character traits, basically. I won't cry either. She bit her lips and said every word forcefully. I will not cry. Oh my god, look at this picture though. I mean... Why? Why is she on her knees now? <laughs> I will not cry no matter what. I already knew it would be like this. I knew no one would believe me no matter what I did. Believe you what exactly? That you're a criminal? From their perspective, we should all just go to hell. Which is some social problem. We should all just die. Just because we're poor and go can't go to school. Ha 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 ha. Why don't they just lock up everyone who has less than 20k in income? Everyone who doesn't have a middle school diploma should just get executed. You can, I'm pretty sure you can work on construction sites and stuff. What do they call us? Backup criminals? Social time bombs? Big sis, listen to me. No one will believe us and no one will help us. All we have is ourselves, got it? What about Miss Wang? And Mr. Ken? It was a declaration and accusation both. A yell sprayed from a soul's deepest fucking darkest dumbest place. She unclenched her fist. There were spots of blood on her gloves and she just laughed, ignoring that. I know, this got the world is a fear. That's why you want to be a murderer? Woman, you never deserve to be happy, I gotta be honest here. Hearing the familiar words, I finally understood the emotion behind them. It was neither helplessness nor acceptance, but rage and struggling against reality.